Hello, are you the authority having jurisdiction at this job site? Yes, I am. How may I help you? I'd like to make a modification to this old work box. I'd like to use the wings of the box as directed by Carlin, the manufacturer, to secure the box, but I would also like to add two screws through the box and into a stud. I would like to install the screws here and here. Why would you like to make this modification? Because I'm going to be installing two receptacles into this two gang box, and I'm concerned that the box won't stay stable over the years just using the wings of an old work box. So you're proposing to use both the wings of the old work box and two screws? Yes. Okay, I'll approve this modification, but I want you to put the screws closer to the top and the bottom of the box, here and here. In this way, your screws will have less chance of contacting your wires. Also, if any threads are showing on your screws, I want you to cover up the threads with silicone caulking. Also, use screws with no sharp edges. Thanks for the approval of my modification. So now I will drill the holes where the AHJ said that she wanted them, both of the holes, and then I will install the old work box and I'll tighten up the wing screws on both of the diagonal corners of the old work box to clamp the wings of the old work box to the drywall. Now I'll install the lower screw through the drilled hole and then I'll install the upper screw through its drilled hole. And now I'll put a little bit of caulking over the area where perhaps a thread is showing. The screws had to go in an angle so the head isn't really flush with the box. So I'm putting some caulking in the area where you might possibly see a thread. So now I'm gonna to go to 2020 NEC article 314.23 supports and I'm going to go to B1 nails and screws. Nails and screws were used as a fastening means shall secure boxes by using brackets on the outside of the enclosure or by using mounting holes in the back or in one or more sides of the enclosure or they shall pass through the interior within six millimeters, that's a quarter of an inch, of the back or ends of the enclosure. Screws shall not be permitted to pass through the box unless exposed threads in the box are protected using approved means to avoid abrasion of conductor insulation. Mounting holes made in the field shall be approved. Then when you go to Article 100, Chapter 1 General, you see that approved means acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. So let me know in the comment section below if you think that the installation that I did earlier in the video is legal per the 2020 NEC. I'll put a link in my video description for a previous video I made on this subject that looks at it more from the viewpoint of labeling and listing, whereas this video looks at the situation more in the light of trying to obtain an approval for a modification. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.